Okay, so the plans for today is the introduction with probability, like I said, and we're going to play a game, and it's called Fair Game, and we're going to play that as a whole class. I'm, you all are going to be against me when we play the game, so it's you all against me. And then we're going to have a part two of Fair Game that you all are going to play in pairs together, and then we're going to have an exit ticket that's going to be individual. Go ahead and get your iPads out. We're going to go ahead and work on the I learned for today. You all have 12 minutes. So if you're finished, here is a list of IXLs that we have completed, and they have been graded and put in I, uh, Infinite Campus. So make sure that if you finish those, you're working on those. You guys, we're gonna go over this together, and I'm gonna have you all share. I'm gonna have you all give some input on what you all put, but be sure and raise your hand um, if you want to share an answer. Okay, so it says on the number line above, place the letter of the following events below based on their probability. So the first one, you will miss a day of school this year. This is gonna be different for you all, but someone share what they have. Where, where, where did you put it? 100%. On 100? Okay, so a lot of you all will probably have on 100% because it's a 100% chance that you've missed a day of school because you've already missed one. So the total is the number of times that you toss, you land on it. No, that's in your trial. This is experimental. So how many times do you flip hay? So can we keep a tally like right Yes, yes. Actually, I suggest you keep a tally up here and then write your total. So however many times, and you're going to toss it 20 times. You're going to toss the coin 20 times. So this is going to be experimental because you are actually collecting data on how many times you land on heads or tails. So what you need to do is you need to keep a tally for how many times you land on each one. And then once you flip 20 times, your total for tails and your total for heads. And then you find the fraction and percent for each. Does okay, that make sense? Put the, tattles, the tallies here? Yeah, that's fine. Wherever you want to keep them, that's fine. Let's look at, we're going to do number one together, and then you are going to work through through five. So let's go through number one. It says the meal deal choices, you have a choice for drinks, chips, and a main item. So you have drinks, water, tea, or milk. Chips, you have Lay's, Cheetos, or barbecue. And the main item, you have pizza or a hot dog. So how many different ways could you order the meal? So how many different total options are there? How can you figure this out? Anybody have any ideas? Okay, what do we need to multiply? So that's the correct operation we need to use. We need to multiply. Okay, so Bailey says three times four times two. And why do you say that? Uh, oh, did you? Oh, sorry. Yeah, she, okay. I thought it was. There you go. Good catch, though. Okay, so why did you guys g of f of negative one? So can somebody tell me what that means? Yes, Rachel. Yes. So let's start by looking at this first. So we have f of negative one. So we're gonna take our f of x function and we're gonna plug in a negative one everywhere there's an x. So it's four times negative one. So f of negative 1 equals 4 times negative 1 plus 6. So 4 times negative 1 is 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. You all were one step ahead of me. Plus 6 equals 2. So we have 2. Now it, this 2 replaces the f of negative 1 because that's what f of negative 1 equals. So we're going to take this 2 and plug it in for in the g. So t g of 2 means that you're going to take a 2 and plug it in everywhere there's an x in g of x. So we're going to have 2 times 2 plus 8 and that's going to give us 12. So g of f of negative 1 is 12. <coughs> 